In this video, I have the e-bike testing device, and I want to test the motor, the motor main, phase lines. It's going to be these three here, blue, green, and yellow. And these are going to be connected to these three plugs here, which are come with the tester little alligator clips and then these three wires lead over to the motor output or input this is a nine pin connector and these are three of them right here that I have connected to test this should illuminate real faintly but as I rotate it quickly, it should illuminate these three. So let me pause the video and then show you that. So I'll turn on the device. I've got my five volts and watch these should come on faintly. I'm going to go ahead and spin the motor. I'll try to spin it quickly here. Hopefully you can see these three. See, I'm spinning it pretty quickly. On the bike, it's a little easier to test it that way, but you'll see those three. Come on. On another video, I've already, I'll show you also the Hall sensors, which right now we're testing three main wires that are here coming in for the motor phases. Yellow, green, and blue. And that's what we have hooked up over here. This is the yellow, green, and blue. We just clipped them on to this harness. The harness I have on my particular motor has the nine pin connector. That's the male that comes out of the motor. And then it has the female side here that I could connect it. And then as you come to the tail end of it, that goes to the e-bike testing, uh, e testing device. I hook these three to the main phase lines. So these three right here, connected here, disconnected to the motor. I held this. You, if it's already connected to the bike, of course, you spin the tire. And as you spin it round and round, you're going to see, as I showed you, these three will light up faintly, but they'll light up in pulsate. And that'll show you that your motor the main phase uh, lines are good on it. So in another video, like I said, I'm gonna show you how to do the motor hall lines, connect this other section of the cable, and then test out the uh, hall sensors. All right, thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, it'll help you. Um, this motor's beyond repair. Apparently it's been water damaged and it's created some other issues. But on this section I'm testing, it did test good. I uh, hope you liked the video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and any comments um, will be well appreciated.